Hello guys and girls. All right. So uh, let's talk about uh, something new here. We call it inheritance. Okay. All right. So something that might be helpful for your current assignment. Okay. So if you can see from my screen here. Okay. Uh, this is from the slides previous chapter. Uh, previous. I mean previous notes. And you can look up uh, chapter six. And we'll talk about inheritance. Okay. So basically inheritance, there are a few things that you need to know, right? You need to call them base class or derived class, okay? Or you can call them uh, parent class or child class, okay? Base class is the parent class. Uh, derived class is the child class, right? And uh, by now you should know what is public, what is protected, uh, sorry, what is public and public and what is private. But we'll look into what is called protected, okay? And what we can inherit from them, okay? All right. So you can read all these notes, but I'm going to point out a few important things that you should know. Okay, like for example, uh, some of the examples that we can use inheritance in is when we have a, a bigger category and within the big, bigger category, you have some smaller categories. Okay, like we have students, but we can divide them into graduate students or undergraduate students. Uh, shape, okay, but then we can break it down to circle, triangle, rectangle, sphere, cube. Uh, loan, car loan, home improvement loan, mortgage loan, blah blah blah, and so on. Okay, I'm just going uh, very briefly through the through the uh, slides here. Okay, so that you will see what we will do after this. Okay, and uh, here are some of the example of inheritance. Okay, inheritance can be uh, single and can be multiple. Okay, single is when you have one parent and many child, or one base class, many derived class. And uh, you can have multiple inheritance where you can have uh, two parent uh, where each derived class can have more than one parent. Okay, we can call it multiple inheritance. And one good example here is shape. We have two dimensional, then we have three dimensional. So two dimensional is uh, inheriting shape, three dimensional is inher inheriting shape. Then circle, square, triangle is inheriting two dimensional, and sphere, cube, and tetrahedron is uh, inheriting three-dimensional shape so here are some of the i'm sorry for the typo all right uh, sorry for oh, it's quite difficult to see and whatever you see here is what we call class diagram that we i will use just another video just to show you how to create the class diagram on your own which is what is part of uh, what we call unified modeling language or uh, uml okay all right so there are some codes here but the most important thing that i would like you to see is this so we have polygon which is one class and we can have two child classes rectangle triangle and many other shapes but let's take only two as example okay and another important thing that i would like to uh, address you uh, you can look at you, you you can read all this okay uh inheritance uh daughter, protected mother, and all these things. All right, here's a, an important one. So when you inherit from a base class, there are a few things that you can inherit automatically, but some you cannot. Like for example, uh, you can inherit all the data members, uh, protected data members and public data members. You can also inherit a protected uh, function and um, public function, but you cannot inherit automatically the constructors or destructor right you also cannot uh, inherit automatically the operator members uh, friend function okay which is um, actually a topic that we skipped so far but if we have time then I'll explain in another video and private members we cannot inherit private members okay the child can only inherit protected members and public members which we'll have a look later on okay right Without further ado, let's go straight to our uh, compiler, okay, and see how we can materialize this. Okay, so of course, the usual suspect, sorry, all right, using the space standard, and I'm going to create a new class called class poly, uh, sorry, let's create a class uh, separately, rectangle, okay class rectangle okay so let's say class rectangle i have um a private data member of uh, even though i don't have two 
but for this uh, this this uh, tutorial I'm gonna put private so that you can see the differences later on why I use uh, easily okay but you, you know in reality there is no need for me to put private because by default if I do not I do not specify any access specifier it is private okay right uh, let's have like uh, maybe you know three variables double say the width uh, the height and the area okay let's have three private data members and let's have um calculate function maybe right a virtual cal uh, i mean a, a calculate function so void calculate okay and what it will do here is basically to calculate the area so the area of a rectangle is very simple it's just the blue times h right standard mathematics and then uh, let's create uh, some public functions here okay public and first i'll create a constructor rectangle okay sorry the same name as um rectangle the same name as the class right rectangle and here i'll accept two values double say mm, wi and i have another one which is called the uh, double he for height and what i'll be doing in my constructor is to assign the values w with wi and h equals to Mm, he, she. All right. Uh, I'm going to show you another way of assigning uh, values. Okay, to the sorry, to the uh, uh, variables here. Right. Okay. You can do it the conventional way, which is like this. K W, which means you take the value here, which you receive from uh, upon object creation, and then you store it in W, which is a double variable and the height okay but you can also do it this way in order for you to save some space like for example here i can put a colon right and then i put w in bracket i put wi and then comma i have h then i will have he and with that there is no need for me to have this and it will still be all right okay so i'm going to run this program and see there's no other errors besides there's no main okay right so this is one of the uh the other shorter way that you can actually uh you know uh store the value in your constructor okay so this is the constructor i've done with the constructor and let's have another public function called display where i'll display all the uh, uh the, the area okay so here okay first i will be calling the calculate function to first calculate the value of the area and then i'll see out okay the area is right and i'm gonna display area okay and and line and that's it right so let's um test if um we have any problem with uh, this function okay uh index 911 there's nothing there okay so let's put this to the test i'm gonna go to main and i will be including remember we have spoken in the previous uh videos where we can separate the files so i'm separating two i'll have one file called polygon the other one called main so i'm going to uh, okay include poly, uh, polygon.h which means i'll be including everything here okay and i will have integer main right here return zero right uh, i think i'm running out of time for the first 10 minutes video so i'll see you in the next video